I just feel like this community is they just not gonna change. And that's as simple as that. So what if we want Destiny to change and like their business practices I mean, and, dude, habits and like simple Look as at that. the fact. Look at this. Sorry to interrupt you, but look at this. You know how many maps we're getting for PvP this year? I mean, like to me, that doesn't matter. I don't care if we get none. Like, I just actually want a more balanced, fun PvP, a Dude. competitive PvP. See, that's the problem. I think. Like, I want see, this more the, maps and game modes. But see, that's what I'm trying to tell and, you. And the that that, that mentality is also the problem of the game, bro. Instead of working on the broken stuff that we have in there, like you were just complaining about, sick of being tired of hunter, invis, snipers, blah blah blah. You want new maps and new new modes. So that guess what the developers are gonna work on. Do you know how long it's been since we've had I promise I'll let you talk. I promise I'll let you talk. But just know that the developers are going to work on what you want because you're going to buy that. They're not going to make that and send it to you for free. So they're going to make the new game mode, right? And the new maps and leave all the same broken stuff in there like invis and all the stuff that you f f like love you know aim assist the lorenz driver you know get those new maps and you're going to be sick of them in two months want two more buy it again and still be playing the same broken busted stuff in the game that annoy the hell out of you that keep you out of trials that keep you out of comp that make you not want to touch the game but they're going to keep working on the things that you want because you're going to spend money on that so that's that's what I'm trying to say. Like that mentality is the entire communities. I'm not even trying to like attack you, Pitch. Like I really not. But that's what the community well, does. They want new content. They want new this. Like I want the stuff that we have worked on. Take a year off and just work on the content that we have, because you can make some great stuff with the things we have. I mean, you look at this. Take a take a look at this. All the PVP stuff, like maps and stuff, Every have all been free. Like you, you haven't had to spend. Smart. You know, you, you never load into a match and a fucking message pops up saying, hey, you can't play this map because you don't own, you know, DLC number six. There million. was a thing in Destiny 1, by the way. Which should never be a fucking thing. But in this game, it's been almost 1,000 days since we've had a fucking PvP map, dude. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> that is fucking ridiculous. They've gone through multiple sandbox changes. Multiple, I'm telling you, multiple sandbox changes. They even introduced a new destination, Europa, which would have been the perfect fucking opportunity to make a fucking PvP map on there. But they didn't take the opportunity. Instead, they took away all the PvP maps from us and left us with all the shitty D1 PvP maps that no one wanted. And left us with fucking convergence as well. I don't even know why that map's in the game minute, to begin with. It baffles me why that map's still in the game, and yet they can't. I mean, even if you look at it, they could add in tools to allow the community to make maps like how they did with Forge and Halo. I, I understand, you know, this isn't Halo, but you can still add that tool into the game because they they've changed the engine now like they changed it in beyond line so it's a different uh hybrid engine as they said so you know with all these changes because if you look at it like i i took a look into the changes for the orbs of light and look I, I digged a bit deeper and it's limitation reasons again it's because this game is fucking running on an engine from like 2004. i believe it's running on the halo reach engine but so like, all the way from like, what's I think wrong 2009. With like, I like what's wrong with that like like yeah we can it's, have some amazing it's limiting graphics. the game but like what, it's, what's, it's what's legitimately what's, limiting the game but, but i haven't heard you complain about like oh man the movement sucks or like no 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 i'm not talking about that i'm not i'm not talking about that kind of limiting i'm talking limitation as in like uh the ability to add in stuff like forge and like they can add in forge that this little game, tiny bro. problem they could definitely add in forge in this game. yeah, yeah just take them a, that's what i'm saying that's what i'm asking for to add in things like a raid every five minutes that you guys are gonna get sick of and want a new one but which one's gonna make them more money for dude I, I could do last raids? wish over and over i just want a fucking new challenge from because like you you can do ribbon legit and shit and you can like use a bunch of like retired you know you can use the whole day one loadout oh, shit okay. if you wanted to for, for ribbon one minute in terms of pvp like in the scope of pvp like 
don't you get sick of playing fucking convergence for like the sixth no, time today? I don't today? mind. Don't you I, don't, I don't mind that because every time I do, as a team owner, it makes you have to play a little bit different. It might be a team of snipers where I have to find a. Hard oh yeah, 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 like like I don't PVP. That's, that's always PVP. But when you're playing the same map, like. That I'm trying to tell you, you though, I don't mind that, bro. I'd much rather. You dude, just we like. played Halo, bro. Halo didn't get new maps for freaking like months, bro. I mean, like six to seven but months also sometime. Had Forge. Yeah, but like, I mean, Forge like. Forge was a fucking lifesaver. Even, for me, hold on, dude. listen. I can't tell listen, you how many listen, custom listen. games I played back I, in the I, day. I hear you on that, and that's great. But check this out. Even with Forge, bro. I played MLG Slayer, Lone Wolves, and Team Slayer, the ranked playlist where you have to get to level 50. This I'm playing talking about Halo 3 here, not Reach. But I'm talking about 3. Okay, because that's when Forge first came in, this is a thing. Alright. All I'm saying is that even with Forge being there, there were still only about six maps you rotate in that they consider to be on a professional level. So uh, no, yeah, yeah, like that's never been a thing to me that I need 12 different maps to no, it's like the same thing with fighting games. Bro. See, but that's that's competitive that's competitive play, like even in reach the extra but, I, to, but i'm just saying like, like that's why i never felt caps. like i need never i felt like that's i never right, needed um, um new maps you know sanctuary because the fucking asylum was shit so they legitimately had to remake it because you know how asylum had that whole like cliff part But yeah, like I just I don't care to have new maps. Right? I actually like the maps we have. We have more than the go through. I the, personally listen, do. I go through the list of maps that we have on this game. It's the most in like almost any arena shoot I've ever played, bro. Like it's insane, and people are still saying that's not enough, bro. Like what? When is like when is enough? I mean, enough, if you take bro? a look at it, take a look at all these maps and tell me how many of them are D1 maps. Even so, I mean, like it's still a plethora of maps, maps that you can rotate in between where you're not getting bored, bro. They bring back the D1 maps because that's what you guys show that you love. You love things from D1 and you're willing to pay for it. I didn't play D1, so I can't, like, I played it with you in like 2019, so I didn't play all these fucking maps. But you show that you like it when you buy the dungeon to get Ayers, Luna, and a Matador. But the PvP maps are free. They're not for, well, yeah. This doesn't are, make sense, say. though. What, but they're not free to the developers. They're going to like basically always push it out with like a new content. You know what I'm saying? Like the maps. Come they're never with pushing anything PVP related out with new content. They're like, hey, here's a nice Luna I'm in PVE. Like the now go chase we, it. Yeah, but you know why exactly why they put it? Nobody's using Ice Luna in PVE. Nobody. They put it there for oh, dude, people. Dude, it's headstone. Give me a second. Hmm. Two, three, five, One six, enemy seven, eight, nine, ten. There is ten Destiny 2 maps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have no two people will be satisfied the same stuff, yeah. And that's Eight, just the truth. Nine, but I tell you ten. what, it's not about what they're well, satisfied with jewels. It's D1, about what what makes ten, them money. D2. And if you if you got people asking for new content instead of working on the things that we have that can be great, like they're going to make the new content because you're gonna buy that new content. And guess what? Each time that they make new content, they're getting better and better. That's how it goes, bro. So with anything, right? It takes less and less like time. I won't say time. I'll just say that those things become easier for you to make. So basically, they still getting the same prices. They're still making their better content, but basically think of it like this, like my thumbnails, right? The first one I made was like, man, this kind of took a while. Like, I don't want to do this again, right? Second one I made, I was like, oh, okay, cool. This is a little bit easier. I get kind of get a theme going here. Third one I made, like, oh, I got the theme. Let's go. I just got to put in a picture. Okay, cool. Fourth one I made, like, oh, this is a breeze. I'm about to go in here. I got everything in place. I know exactly what I need to change, where I need to. You know what I'm saying? Like, it takes me 30 seconds now to make a thumbnail. You know, like, genuinely. And I don't even have to use the same one in the same type. And it's like, I can actually switch up my thumbnail completely and still maybe take a little bit longer. What I'm trying to say is, is that that stuff becomes easier to make and they're going to make the same money. So. All I'm trying to say is like, it would be a lot better for them to work on the things that are already in this game. 
but the community don't care to listen to that the community is i'm bored entertain me again i'll spend 40 bucks on i'm bored entertain me again like that's our community bro there's some people it's not the whole community okay my bad that's the majority of the community that's the like it's literally like 80 percent maybe 90 percent no, no, no. of the community bro. that's the people even our top, on reddit even our top content creators in twitch bro that's not the people yeah, because twitch they, you realize they they play this game for fucking eight hours a day and they play strictly one thing for eight hours a day so like you know Pigeon. you have your pvp say, content like, creators yes. and your pvp content creators that just sit there playing the same fucking activity but you just for say eight hours a day every single day dude like it, mentally that would fuck you over that would piss anyone off like mentally that would make you want to go play a different game. I didn't game. say it, it wouldn't be frustrated. I didn't, but I wouldn't sit here and be talking about it's boring. There's yeah, other things you can play in this are, game. Other people are different from each other. Like you and I are different from each other. Right, right, right. And I understand that, but you're not listening to me. I'm telling you that 90% of the community is the people that just want new content. And you try to sell it like it's just Reddit and Twitch streamers, but you literally just said, oh, I just want new maps. I just want new, new whatever. That that's you're saying the you same wanted, thing, bro. Uh, that's, that's wanting something that hasn't been in the game for almost 1,000 days. That's like, huh? That makes zero sense, bro. Like, come right, on, ask right. yourself well, I'm, this. I'm it's been almost 1,000 fucking days, and there's still not a PvP map. How was that saying? I'm I'm an asshole or a greedy motherfucker or an impatient person because I want a new fucking PvP map in did the I, game. Did I say any that, of those that, things? That, Huh? Did I say any of those things? Like what? You did. You you said I that the said. entire Destiny 2 community is impatient and they just want new content all the entire fucking time. Dude, when the when new content for PvP hasn't been available for almost 1000 right, fucking bro. days, wait, I think wait. anyone I in the community to, has the right you, to be pissed off. I need you to take a deep breath. Anyone. I'm about to end this conversation because you're yelling, you're irritated and I haven't I haven't changed my tone of voice at all. Bro. Uh, I'm I'm trying I'm not to simply have a irritated. conversation, bro. I am I am annoyed at the fact that you're not realizing that it's been because almost one fucking thousand days and PvP has gotten nothing. Like hey, PvP has gotten shafted over and over and over again and this is something you love. And why are you not speaking out about it? Like other Because people, I don't I care want about new, new content. I want new game modes. Listen, I am not speaking out about it because first off I am by the way, I just made a video on this. Well but second off I want you to know that I'm trying to tell you that I haven't called a single person impatient, greedy, anything. Some people I think are greedy are bungee. What I'm trying to tell you is that the community itself focuses on the wrong thing. These are my exact words. The community focuses on new content, right? And there's nothing wrong with that, but they do it too much, okay? Instead, what they need to focus on is building up the game that we already have. Instead of you asking for new maps, Ask for them to work more on hunters. Ask for them to work more on snipers. Ask them to add. <clears throat> ask for them to add more weapons back in the last wish, like adept versions, and make them usable. Things that you've already spent okay. your money on. That's that's what I'm that, saying. That, that, there's a big difference right there. That's a sandbox. That's a sandbox. They work on. They have a separate team that works on a sandbox. That works on this sandbox. They have a PVP sandbox team, which is fucking surprising. Which okay. baffles me. You have a PvP sandbox team. Yet, where the fuck is the balance? Like, they talk... You know, they talk so much about wanting primary gunplay to come back, and yet, where the fuck is it? Well... Like, please tell me, where is it? What I'm trying to say is, and, is that I get that it's different, it. but if we came together and asked for the things that we want, which is should be working on the content that we have and making this amazing, making this a great game, guess what? That sandbox might have a few more people, sandbox team might have a few more people working on our game now instead of them worrying about, oh, well, I want a new PvP map so that I can get killed by They have by multiple one. teams working on multiple aspects of this game. And it's not enough because the only thing that we get, bro, is like literally Dude, the their same. PvP team is probably like one person. It's probably Tocom and that's it. And why like, would, I swear listen, to God, it's probably just Tocom. To you, why would we support a, a industry or a developer that's doing that? Like they have, they have... A, what was it we looked at yesterday Jules a 375 million dollar gross revenue as a company you tell me you have one person working on PvP 
that's not speak wonders to yeah. the company you choose to support like i don't understand it like i don't get it Weapons down and you're alive. there are whales that also fucking dwarf us in terms of like you know like yeah but i'm gonna tell you this the DLC. That those, they uh, spend like 20k on fucking silver like right, I, i've but, legitimately seen some people with 20k silver in this game and it is frightening to see but that i'm trying to tell you that those wells will never trump an actual group of people in the community a large group of people stepping up and tell you this is what i want because those wells will have nobody to play with if the community stood up and actually said hey man you know what a new content bro we get it we like it and we'd like that but what we really appreciate if you work on the things that we have and stop charging us we're up to like 700 dollars for a destiny franchise at this point you might as well have bought like two xboxes at this point for a single game that you can't even play the content you bought i don't have wrath of the machines hell i don't even have curse of osiris no more like i'm playing a basically Dude, an just, entirely like, different it game. just legitimately it just legitimately pisses me off like how pvp has had no love whatsoever yes it has had sandbox updates yes that, you, that is on, some was... sort some form of love but in terms of like you know remember countdown remember playing countdown where the fuck's that you could add that to trials and spice the shit that, that shitty game mode up you could add it back to comp even to, to fucking make comp more competitive right, i agree and shit like that and that's and, what i'm trying to say is that i think they should work on their game if you take a look at it this one if you go take a look at it for this year you know how many maps we're getting with witch queen for the entire fucking year we're getting one reprise d1 map that no one fucking asked for a d2 map that was originally in the game to fucking begin with and one brand new map please tell me how like how that can be forgiven in any way shape or form uh, because the only source of love this game has gotten towards pvp was i believe just after beyond life for trials when they changed when they changed the whole trial no not just after beyond life it was a few months ago when they changed the whole trial system that no one asked for because trials was already fucking dying like if you legitimately go take a look at the weekly player count, you saw it dying every single week. It was just going down in numbers because no one wanted to play the game mode. But this and is the thing, is that you say, guess how many maps are getting with Witch Queen? One. But what makes them Yeah, money? one. That's one new map. I know. I'm trying There's to one tell you. New map, dude. I'm, what I'm trying to tell That'll you. That'll be free to everyone. And I'm trying to way. explain to you that Bungie does what makes them money. So if you choose to support you getting one map, they're going to continue to give you one map every thousand days because you guys are still going to buy the DLC. Maybe myself included this time around. We still going to buy the DLC, right? And most of the focus is going into dungeons, raids and nightfalls and whatever other PVE crap that people want to spend their money on. And people, some people like that. There's nothing Dude, wrong I with that. But PVP don't make maps. them money. PVP doesn't make them That's money. That's the thing. Like and like they they don't they you can say anything you want out of your wait, mouth wait, wait, wait. but money speaks wait bro. can't can't you like take that back and like uh pvp doesn't make money yet they're fucking gatekeeping trials every single seat like every single year now to a yeah, fucking bro, i'll just uh, say this DLC. i'll just say this bro if trials yeah, is the only that's thing essentially that's them trying to make money off of pvp yeah somewhat that, that, that's, gatekeeping trials. that's them adding more essentials for you to buy a dlc well if you're not yeah. gonna buy a dlc because you like the new raid the exotics and the, the new glaive well then how about you buy it because you're gonna lose access to the game most you used to play like trials like a nightfall a raid is gonna become a relevant so now you won't have a raid at all it's them adding incentives for you to buy the game the, the, the new dlc bro that's what that is so like I'll, like if you want um new maps well they'll give you new maps but i tell you what is that it doesn't Dude, fix the I overall don't care if problem fucking, because i don't care gonna... if we don't get pve content for a whole year just fucking give me an entire rem remember how many times they've said oh we have a renewed focus Come for on. pvp and renewed focus for pvp where the fuck is it, man? Like, legitimately ask yourself, where the they, fuck uh, is I it? I will say, do they have like, the... Because okay, I've been man, looking for it listen, this entire time. <laughs> I felt like they have added a lot of stuff to PvP, personally. I don't know what you guys are... How you guys feel about that, because, like... I remember uh, we didn't have trials. Trials rotate weekly. They have adept weapons. They have loot to go back in. You can armor chase for rolls. They got adept Icarus grip, adept... Like, bro, these things were not there, bro. And you guys are saying, like, they haven't been working on PvP. 
Like, I, I, no, as no, a player, that's why I said the only thing they worked on was trials, and then they fucking proceeded to gatekeep it with a paywall. But essentially, that's why th that's what I was meaning to you by them. That's the only thing getting the love in terms of PvP from the fucking dev team, and that's like by them I don't adding want those to play things fucking though, spice trials up the all the time though. By like, them adding you know, those things, I miss like being they... able to play countdown and fucking like you know actually use our brains. Like, oh shit, how are we gonna defuse on you know B on you know mid lane? Oh shit, like what are we gonna do? How are we gonna play this? You know, I gotta save my barricade. Oh shit, hope my teammate has an ability or at least you know a sniper around. But fuck, man, and, and it's like you know you, you go from that to trials where you die once, you're just done, like game over and it's like see you next round or see you when your teammate comes to revive you and it's like that you remember they, they've had that very same game mode since d1 when nothing has fucking changed in terms of the game mode itself like there is nothing keeping that game mode fresh whatsoever they've yet to spice it up i mean yes i enjoy the addition of solo trials and being able to accumulate. Oh, that's nothing they added. That's Free wins. I that, that. That's been arcs for years, though. Uh, there's also it has been, been but that's just like them working on PvP. If, you know, if you want to give them credit, like they yeah. have been working on it, bro. Like I'll say that. But, but that's like, the thing. That's trials. It is also paywalled, and it's like it frustrates me at the same time because I'm not a big avid trials fan. Like I'd rather go play comp with you and play fucking trials because comp we're gonna get a challenge in trials we're gonna get one shot body shot by special weapons and there goes the round it's like i mean Isn't yeah the, the same thing's gonna happen in comp. Of it now um deep stone crypt i don't know i never played it but I oh yeah imagine. deep, deep stone crypt is literally it, you take one look at that one it, it, that raid became a relevant less than three months Three fucking months after it dropped, it became the the very moment Volta Glass dropped, that raid became irrelevant. So they killed one of their new raids just to promote one of their old dog shit raids. Just remember that. They killed a fucking fantastic raid, like Deepstone Crypt just so they can promote Volta Glass and it has champions now dude like seriously it has anti-barrier and overload champions dude it is so much better like, but that's fuck. like that's that's like them adding something in little that does make the raid a little bit better bro because there's also better loot in that raid yeah the mechanics and dynamics of the raid is not ridiculously different but it's nostalgic there's a couple different things that's see, bro that's what i mean is that that stuff right there is what makes the game great bro keep adding keep working on that bro like yeah that was small yeah, but they didn't they didn't they just killed it they literally but I'm, killed I'm that saying, fantastic raid we give them the like time, one that raid is awesome it is fucking deep stone crypt is an awesome raid like you got you go from fucking having garden two years before that to fucking deep stone crypt and you're like holy shit this really is a change because garden was fucking top tier trash because it barely even functioned on console yeah but what i was about to say is is that if we stop asking for new content and we continue to let them do things like they did with Volta Glass, like they have been doing with Trials, bro. Look how much better Trials is compared to when we first had it, or Trials of the Nine, bro. Like, I know that it's still frustrating, don't get me wrong, but you're gonna tell me that the Trials that we have not right now is not better than Trials of the Nine? Like, you would be crazy. And that's simply not true. And that's because they in worked terms on of it. I want wise, more of that, yes. bro. No, I think in terms of matchmaking, in terms of loot wise, in terms of Flawless card passage. If you remember, Mercy passage wasn't a thing when Trials of Osi uh, Trials of the Nine was here, bro. Like the passages weren't even here. They weren't a thing, bro. Yeah, it was just a, but like, I don't think well, it's just. It was, a, it was a card that you had to pick up. I don't remember. No, no, no. You no, just no, hopped you in there. You had to go. go you had to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's just mat. It's like you three and three match make, and you have to go seven and zero. Oh, Every yeah. time you didn't as I said, like the whole matchmaking thing, I love so much. The whole solo queue, I love that so much. But, but I want more of that, bro. I want them that to stop one, making one content. playlist is kind of fucking like. No, that, they did it with comp too. Really comp is me. in a better state. Well, yeah, dude, this, that happened. Well, I think in comp is in a better queue, state, though. bro. That's true. <laughs> and but, comp is free. And, and but 
it, I, again it was a free update for everyone that everyone could enjoy that's the type of update i enjoy not having to fucking but spend that's what i'm trying to say map. like if we support this what's going to happen is that everyone's not going to be able to enjoy it everyone's not going to be able to enjoy a raid everyone's not going to be able to enjoy nightfall everyone's not going to be able to enjoy trials of osiris you pay well and you split the player base bro i'm trying to tell people to stop making excuses for that thing if you want to buy it go ahead but i'm trying to tell you that when we buy it whether it be for my channel whether it be because i'm bored whether it be because i want new content whatever it is we're telling bungie oh keep doing what you're doing yeah keep doing it make my old content irrelevant yeah 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 i love it that's what that screams to them yeah no sorry that, that's not working with me uh, i just want new vibes dude like seriously i just want to, i i you even some of the old d2 maps remember eternity remember fucking like all the other good maps from fucking d2 like th that launched with d2 yeah i mean fuck they why took did we out lose Legion maps Gold. like anna bray map like the one that but that, that was the d1 map no anna bray map yeah, legion's Gold. oh yeah legion Gold. no legion goals are not d1 map yeah the, why that's what i'm saying like why do we lose access to maps like fine no actually i know why yeah that's that, that's what i mean and that's why i'm pissed off that this year we're getting a returning d2 map like that that's what makes zero sense to me bro a returning d2 map this isn't a new fucking game though And like it pisses me off a lot more because of the maps they chose to keep in favor of the other D2 maps. Remember Vostok? People hated it, but now people are fucking calling for it to come back. Vault is way too because simple. Because they're sick of getting every map being sh within shotgun range. I think it's bro. You guys gotta realize that it's simple because we ran it for years in Destiny One, bro. Yeah, Vault is simple, but that raid was actually it, mechanics in it were pretty nice, bro. Compared to things like, do you guys remember Eater of Worlds? That raid took us like 20 minutes to do, bro. Spire of Stars? Yeah. Like, bro, the Vault of Glass, bro. It's not that it's too simple. Yeah, it's simple because we've ran it. It's like saying, I don't know. Well, see, I, I feel like we're never going to get something like Spire of Stars again because if you take a look at the day one, like, even some of the world's best teams were struggling because you had to juggle mechanics on top of mechanics on top of dps so like i feel like that's where even myself you know because i was still new to the game as well i'm not like where i am now in terms of uh like how much i've learned wow. from the game so like if, if i was to go back you know from now to then like it would be a lot different and I would love to see something like that in Witch Queen, like at least one of them, the raiding pounders having like something akin to Spyro Stars in terms of difficulty. Because if you take a look at it one, go go take a look at the last two raids for Vog and um, Deepstone Crypt, go take a look at how many people completed day one and you will be amazed. Yeah, but it's a raid that we've already beat. That's why. That was nothing for No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking though. Deepstone Crypt as well. Oh. Deepstone Crypt as well. Because there was a shit ton of people who completed on day one. one Remember how it was like 12 people for Last Wish? I think it was what, over 100k for Deepstone Crypt. So, like, <laughs> that number has fucking, like, increased drastically and i think day one spire was a hundred teams at best but again it was something new or something different but what i'm trying to say is that bro if you guys want a great game and you don't want to stuck in it's like what we are is like drug addicts bro like you really have to think about that is that when we think what of like addicts no, I'm talking about us as the community. Like, it's like when you think of someone, right? And you ask, like, hey, man, what do you want? It's usually like, oh, I want a new raid, man. I want a knife. I want a new map. I want a new gun. I want this. I actually like new guns. I'm lie. New guns are pretty dope. But it's never like, oh, actually, I'd like them to maybe change some encounters up in Vogue. Maybe add some different things. Add reasons to go back into the raid. Add reasons to, you know basically still be playing it months from now you never hear that it's always like i like to see a new nightfall i like to see a new whatever you know what i'm saying it's like 
I mean, that's essentially the same with Master Vault. Like, that, that's everyone's mentality for it as well. It's like, oh, I have all the Master, I have all the time loss weapons, yep, never touching it again, never helping anyone. Dude, I've helped multiple people, even though I have all the weapons myself. It's like, I, I still enjoy going in there, helping people, because people get to experience the challenge alongside me. Like, we get to conquer the challenge together. And I'm not talking, like, it doesn't take, like, 12 fucking hours to complete it. Like, you know, year one prestige levy, dude. Uh, th this is, you know, probably two to three hours max. Like, if people would just fucking communicate with each other. Listen, realistically, I think that what's going to happen is, is that we're going to have a situation like PUBG. If you guys haven't noticed lately, um, PUBG just went free to play right and if it did. PUBG, yeah PUBG didn't never want to go free to play bro they when they came the console with a terrible port it was $30 yeah. and it was on PlayStation's $30 remember? and on PC is $30 hold on oh, now basically sorry to interrupt they you never remember the backpack to... oh yes <laughs> but actually wait what is the backpack what are you talking about remember we were playing and I landed and I was like yo I got a level 3 backpack and my game crashed oh yeah <laughs> Um, but what I'm like, basically PUBG hasn't, they didn't go free to play until their hand was forced. Every battle rail around them, Fortnite, Apex, uh, super people, any battle rail that was good and fun is free to play, bro. They realize people are not going to pay 30 bucks for your game anymore. So what did PUBG do? They answer battle passes, add more microtransactions, and they free up their game to access to every platform. And... The reason why they did that is because their hand was forced. If they want to keep up with their competitors, well, you're going to have to make your content free to play. And that's what's going to happen happen to Destiny. Like, not in that exact sense, but, like, they're going to stop splitting their player base and purchasing and making 40 DLCs uh, once um their hand is forced. And for their hand to be forced, a competitor has to come around. So maybe just enjoy the game for what it is right now until a competitor comes around, because one will. One will look at Destiny and say, you know what, man? Yeah, they got a good game, but they're not doing years, it entirely bro. right. No lives left for your enemy. We've been saying that for fucking multiple games, though. And, like, you've had a lot of people say, oh, yeah, this is the Destiny killer. No, this one's the Destiny killer. No, I never call any yeah, a no, Destiny killer one, because I know, like, those games don't do their PvP right. No game's gonna be a Destiny killer until you do yeah, PvP. Yeah, I mean, right. I mean, when people say that, you, you gotta take a look at the whole scope of things. Does it have a better PvP? Does it have a better PvP? That's what I said. Warframe, a of, like, a lot I would of the actually... Games, yeah, go like if you take a look at it remember how they said anthem was the destiny killer i knew that wasn't a destiny killer since they said there was no pvp i was like oh this is a joke this game's about to die oh dude so much second. people were saying it was a destiny killer people were saying that once this game drops destiny is fucking dead no one's gonna play this game a week later people were like oh dude anthem sucks i never want to play that fucking game again oh dude i love destiny and it's like oh welcome back Like you, you really did have a lot of people like that. You have a lot of people, like especially in like the Battle Royale genre. Remember how like everything was competing to like be the next Fortnite? Yeah. Like after Fortnite dropped and became so fucking successful. Everything wanted a Battle Royale. Was, and, I just got to make a Battle Royale? No, it was actually they made a good game. Like they really did. I don't care what no one yeah. says. Like, I showed that, I showed like what you can do in Fortnite to my girl. She's like, wow, it looks really fun. And it's because they appear to like the even the casual players. Don't even she doesn't even game, bro. And she's like, that actually looks really fun. And that like shows you that they did something good. It wasn't just like, oh, insert battle royale. Yeah. You know, like no, they had building, they had like for kids, they had ATVs and mechs and parachutes, like bro. But look at how much uh how much people tried to copy Fortnite afterwards, like after the success of it. Like just it essentially just tried to copy what what it had done and, and hoping that it, you know. Oh, I made a battle royale, you know, it's going to take off. Dude, there has been so many people, like I've seen so many, uh, like I've seen Dr. Disrespect, people like Tifu and shit, promote all these other battle royales and be like, yeah, man, they're like, you know, this the Fortnite killer, play it for five minutes, never play it again. And it's like, because fundamentally, like the, the game itself doesn't hold up towards like Fortnite in terms of like the I love the after so the much fun up, factor. Just, pfft, dead is dead because there was nothing there bro like the what like I don't think games but, realize anyway, this like unless you're making a crap ton of PvE content bro people are not gonna stick around just to play PvE bro Warframe gets away with that because they make a ridiculous amount of PvE content bro like they make so much 
Uh, um, but yeah, like Anthem thought they were gonna have something like similar with no PvP, bro. If you come out, all right, in 2020, 2022, sorry, with a game that is strictly PvE and it's not some like crazy great story like God of War or insert whatever game, bro, your game better be like cracked up with live service content like i'm serious bro you cannot just be like uh no pvp because you're ostracizing like half a community bro it's actually better to just come out with pvp and then later on add a campaign like halo did now look at halo bro that's a fantastic job of the people who like watch the game uh who play the game pick it and compete um and there was no campaign in that game they added it later that's what you're better off doing like seriously Unless you got as a plethora of PvE content, bro. You cannot do that in the day and age we live in. Oh, no PvP. What? That was a terrible decision. I was so happy when that game was just like, yeah, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.